<sighs> I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. Oh, look at you, all offended that we're playing house. You started this. Miss Farina, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression, was I wrong? And you haven't a clue. Whatever you say, Bird Ramen. Fool her. Can you not, please? What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Except that Furina wouldn't be crying on a throne alone, she'd be the Melusines for uh, uh, of Nouvellet, Lumine, Paimon, and Tartalia that would still be alive. You'd all be dead though. You you'll be dead, by the way. Yet. Here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? Bitch, you started- you, who bought the cake and the tea? What are you talking- I, I'm about to slip a bitch! Damn! The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for- Are we just gonna to ignore that she's lecturing after she brought own. the cake and tea? Even the orphans of the House of the Hearth have devoted everything to saving their homeland. A and now we're talking about saving the homeland when first the initial criticism was you're drinking cake and tea. And you brought the cake. I'm mad as fuck right now. What the hell? But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you are. You have been. brought the cake and tea! The very beginning, you, you the god Fosalor. You have utterly ah, failed ah, to take action. Oh, 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 I'm actually mad, what the fuck? You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures! And I, Fischl, the possessor of a- Oh, wait, wrong character. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I'm slowly drifting away, drifting away. Wave after wave, wave after wave. I'm slowly drifting. I have my ways, and I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you She's look down upon me, cake. you have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved, even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now. As long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Sure. Prina's not acting like a usual self. She's actually seriously refuting the knave's accusations. She means what she says. She's not putting on a front. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it and what is it doing to help? I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you anything. You came in here and accused me of relaxing, drinking tea and eating cake, but you brought the tea and the cake. Well, is it just supposed to let it, let it die in the fridge or something? What's going on here? <laughs> I... So that was all a lie. Or can she really not tell us? She was so full of conviction and confidence just now. Now she's deflated like a pop balloon. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Yes, place more sentences and add fissile-like talking here. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. They, they could have let her chuckle at least. She looked like she chuckled there. Voice actor? What the fuck, bro? They could have at least done like a... <laughs> I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. 
Give a little chuckle, some mocking nature there, bro. It's voice acting. Don't, don't just... Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as... Your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Send everybody to Mondstadt, bro. We win. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? What? what? Send everybody... No, don't send them to Mondstadt. Instead, send them to Natland. At least we can have extra, extra hands to help on with everybody that's busy dying. Hey? Smart plan, anybody? Smart plan, we just go to Natland? These are the things, bro. These are the things. Natland's not far away, bro. Uh, an emergency response plan? You must remember that in the day night time cycle, Lumine can travel from one end of Fontaine to the other end and it will still be daytime. Think about it. So that means it will take a day to get to Natland. Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? The... the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your order? Or the cheese make a nick and at least cut it now. And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnitium that has accumulated over the years? The Oratrix? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. Sure. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. Yes, the Oratrice mechanic then at least all. Infected him with indemnitium. Yes. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? This is part of my plan, you understand? You, you busy trying to find pieces of the puzzle to figure out my plan here. Well, good for you, you find out part of it, now leave because you're no longer welcome here. Bitch, bye bye, do your thing. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellet is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina, I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Please keep it a secret for me. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udex by your side. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please, help yourselves, everyone. Yeah, now you bring up the cake again. The first thing that you criticized for Rina over was the cake that you brought. I, out of the whole conversation, I couldn't even agree with her because I was mad about the cake. These are the topics I could speak about. I don't even know what the even of let's task was. If I had to guess, he probably went down to deal with a searching primordial sea. Why can't he really deal with it by himself? I feel real. And is Farina being truthful or not? Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, we might just get arrested as soon as we walk out because we ate the cake. You too, Paimon. You. Paimon's always hungry. The night proceeds to change the topic and brings a number of less significant matters while the atmosphere gradually becomes more lighthearted. Oh no, they ate the cake! Oh, Paimon's super full. That cake was great! Paimon's lying. Paimon's not super full. That was merely a 1% of our entire stomach storage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the Nay for bringing these over as well. Shots fired. Good going, Farina. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my leave now. Bye, Chino. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, Traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. Of course. Paimon's 
My voice can't pull off Lumine today, bro. I've been struggling the entire time. You alright, Farida? <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. If only you would be real with us for one moment. Let's talk to the knave, finish the mission, and then... Hopefully she doesn't talk very long. Where's the knave? I'm supposed to be following her. I don't see her. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. Uh, sure for her? That's what Paimon thought! What do you want to say? You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth. As their father. I would like to express my gratitude. I didn't think that's what you needed to talk about. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. You should know that I care deeply about my children. Was there nothing else you wanted to say? Like the fights I've had with Fatui Hobbitus in the past? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax, I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremenay are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. Sure. People have been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. Especially Linny. You mean Ridesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Linny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others. Including me. Can you blame him? The knave? By the way... Knave? You can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? Cute but irritating. You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. The fuck was he? Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Bro, he does it on purpose, you know this. Uh, uh Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Oh? Come over here, you little critter, you! So, here is the point where, like, there was a bunch of head cannons that that Peruelvio was busy traumatizing Farina forever or some shit, like... It was really annoying at the time because I mean, why, why going, why, why trying that hard, man? Just, just go with the flow. Why are you trying that hard to make up shit? You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis, but I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy; it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. And had you sacrificed her, I'm pretty sure that Nouvellet would have found out about this. You wouldn't actually have been able to hide it. Look, as far as it goes, I'll admit, they make Nouvellet seem incompetent as fuck. They do. Th this entire Fontaine section, it feels like he doesn't know what he's doing. But he does, and he probably would have found you out. It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. The curse of Immortalata! Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please don't kill me! I'm begging you! Please! She's the perfect human. She does not want to die, like most perfect Fear humans. Fear in her pupils is genuine. 
So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. Bro, you, uh, what's funny is she's wearing everything except for her coat. Like, you can easily recognize that it's her. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Verena dares not mention this incident to anyone. And now the, now the cat wants to be friends. Give the bitch a hug, damn! Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Verena quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Eudex Nuvillette is actually the genuine article. Yeah, no. I have to find the Gnosis. Yes, Father. My dear children, please speak. News from the Fortress of Meripede. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. That's Risley busy kicking ass, taking names, and giving them tea. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Thanks, Otalia. Set up a meeting form. Oh, and I have an additional mission. For you three. Don't forget to betray the Traveler while you're at it. Yes, Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Eudex Nouvellette. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. Yo, shut up already! Damn. You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you. So, they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Yeah, they never told us any of this. Y you attacked the Hydro Archon? Yeah, Paimon just shouted in front of all the Futui around us. It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. You're, you're admitting to it, bro. If we had one person here standing that noticed, then it'd be fucked, bro. You're, you're, you're standing in front of us admitting to it, man. Like, what are you talking about? Uh... I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is more agreement. inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nouvellette must be the Hydro Archon. But now, that doesn't seem right to me either. How did you come to that conclusion? I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Sure. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Yeah. Whether Eudex Nouvellet or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. The truest Archon here, the realest one, the nigger, is Venti. That femboy know their business. Monster have no trouble, and when Monster does have trouble, oh, Venti there, man. Venti there. He's somehow there. He's watching. Venti is always watching. Venti controls all air, bro. Venti knows what you're saying right now. Otherwise, how would Venti know what the Traveler says at certain moments? Venti's like, oh, I already know. I'm all like, how do you know? Of course. That is all just how I feel. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Seems quite incompetent, like most Fontanians. Don't you think Fontanians Outside of quite fucking intriguing? What's the a catastrophe looms, yet many secrets... Outside of Navia, everybody just seems wholly incompetent. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one... You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds... I'm sure we will work together someday. Save us, Nouvellet! He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. Yeah. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Nouvellet, is it over? For now, yes. 
But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I am concerned that sooner or later the prophesied events will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. Maybe also what happened down there? Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. As for what happened on our side? You reaccount the happenings of your tea party to Novalet. Hmm. So as expected, the knave has the knave. Put pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Can I ask you some questions? Permission granted. Do you have enough power to force back the primordial sea? Does that mean you have some deep con deeper connection to the Hydro Archon? Oh. Fuck. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> you can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try to force you. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. Wholly incompetent. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. Did you manage to protect those that needed to be defended? I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Yeah, that's still dumb that everybody chose to live in an underwater submarine prison hotel instead of on a beach. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Huh? What? The clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds. The rain became heavier. Light rain soon growing into into a downpour. And just moments before, Neverland had his mentioned his sense of regret. His grief. <sighs> Wait. Nuvalet, you can't be. You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? He's the Dragon Sovereign of Water. The Dragon of... Uh, what? You know, Ajda, a pip, those type of people. Huh? Please do not be so surprised. <sighs> <laughs> Farina? Bye, Farina. My apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the Dragon Sovereign of Water, right? <sighs> you guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. Uh, right, of course. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Nope, leaving. Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you were able to force back the Primordial Sea from the fortress. Then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? None of the currently living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. Yeah, we kind of know that already. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. There are seven elements wait, 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 and wait, seven wait. matching dragon sovereigns. Are you trying to tell me that Tsuritsa is trying to get all the Gnosis so that she can re-give the power of the dragons back to the dragons? That's why they didn't much care for the Gnosis themselves? Or are they trying to give the power of the dragons back to the Dragon of Shneznaya. Not. Let's not speculate, bro. I know far more about law of Honkai Impact than I do about Genshin Impact. The Dragon Sovereign of Water who lived through that era perished. Which is strange, because I know a lot about Genshin As Impact. As successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. There was a time when I was sick that all I did was read the books of this game, bro. I was a massive fan of this game, and then at some point I just got jaded and stopped playing. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. I still have skill issue. Matters I understand. To, to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Peace out, Nouvellet. Ah, please go right ahead. There's a place that Pine. See you later, Nouvellet. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. I don't have enough time for that, bro. 
Take care. Yeah, this is your man over the cringes. I want you to like, subscribe, smack the face of the keyboard a couple of times, then let's go see it always. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description, especially our uh, main channel, Just the Game Biz, where I'm playing God of War and Honey Pop 2. And yeah, let's see if I have a pool. Do I have a pool? We have a pool. I repeat, we have a pool. To the pool. And a yeah. Pray for me. Yet, here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? Bitch, you started it. Who bought the cake and the tea? What are you talking? I, I'm about to slip a bitch. Damn. The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking. Are we just gonna ignore that she's lecturing after she brought the cake and tea? 